Okay, so I decided to create a, will I call it a simulation or a, just a mini video for people to understand how you can, sorry, excuse me, configure your wireless router and enable devices to connect to them. So the first thing you should do is follow my mouse. These are the wireless devices. You click on them and then you go to your wireless router. So we're giving a home router to connect to. I don't know, is it, they just said small office, home office router. B. So let's use this. This is our wireless router. And then you go to your end devices. From our own practicals, we're told to connect a generic PC that's with cabling. And then we are going to assign IP addresses. So let's do this. This is your generic PC. Since they told you to connect, that's practically more like using your cable to connect from this PC, first Ethernet, to connect to this router, Ethernet 1. Remember, Ethernet, not internet. Nice. So click on your router. And then they said GUI. You go to your GUI graphical user interface. And then in your setup, this is what you do. Now you be you might be told to assign um what do you call it your start IP address because in our own we're told to start our IP address from 50. So you come here where it's 100, you then assign 50. Remember, start IP address 192.168.0.50. And then we're told to give maximum number of users to be 10. Now don't forget to since you were told to um Assign an IP address, a start IP address. Your start IP address refers to the IP address you give to the first device that connects to your router up to the last device. So since we're giving our start IP address to be 50, so the first device will be, the IP address of the first device will be 192.168.0.50. Perhaps the second one that connects to it, it will be 192.168.0.51.0.52.0.53 down to the last that's the tenth device that connects to it remember when you make changes don't forget to save it's very very important and essential if you're going to forget anything don't forget to save your settings so after saving settings the next thing you should know about this is then you come to wireless now your network mode they would ask you whether they want you to use wireless g only b only ours was n only so when you come to network mode scroll down wireless and only now your network name they might give you room they will tell you to actually type in your network name for example mine was told to be exam space fida yeah yeah that's what they told like your name your exam exam then you give hyphen and then your name and surname so and then they said you should make your channel to be six so this channel is one collins you asked after, after that one one, two, three, four, five, six. So this is where you do it. And then you should enable SSID broadcast, which is already done there. Remember, don't forget to give your settings. So after doing that, you close. Now you then come back to your computer. Click on it. So desktop. Now remember, you are going to enable DHCP. For it to connect, so DHCP request successful 192.168.0.50. Here you are, so you close. So we're then told again to connect a tablet, a wireless tablet, and then a laptop wirelessly. The laptop is supposed to have a static IP address, and then the, I think the tablet too. I can't remember. So click on the tablet. <coughs> Sorry. You go to config. Remember, your wireless has an SSID. It was exam finder that we configured. So you come here, wireless zero, click on it. This wireless zero, click on it, it exam dash finder. Yeah, yeah. So you don't even have an option to save here. So you have no business with this. I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope it does. Sorry, let me see. Yeah, it's connected. So for a laptop now, remember, you have to have an interface that connects wirelessly. So we'll have to remove this under physical. 
you switch it off and then drag and place here and then you drag this WPC 300N. For each module, there's an explanation. The Linksys WPC 300N module provides wireless interface. So this is the one you will use WPC. Drag and drop here, click on it, and that's it. Then you come to desktop. Since you have done that, double click on PC wireless for it to open. After doing that, you then click on connect. After some time, your wireless network name will appear, you see? exam fider here channel 6 signal 97 points percent you then click on connect your adapter is active and you close so this is just the very simple thing you do and then the last stage it will be that you should ping the devices so if you just drag your mouse and put it here without clicking it will show you the ip address so here we have 192.168.0.50 here we have 192.168.0.52. Yeah. And then here we have 192.168.0.54. So what you do is remember their IP address 5254. So from this device, you ping that device. If you are going to ping a device, you go to command prompt, click, and then type ping. Then the IP address of the other devices, let's say the first one, 192.168.0.54 dot zero dot fifty four and you press enter so this is the ultimate test of connection then the next one one nine two dot one six eight all you just need to do is press your up arrow and then fifty two press enter so that's it remember this one has one nine two dot one six eight dot zero dot fifty so you cannot ping it you just ping the other devices to ensure connectivity you then go to the other device too Click here. Now we'll be pinging this particular PC and the laptop. We are going to use the work tablet to ping a PC and laptop. So click on the tablet, go to desktop, click on command prompt, and then type in ping 192.168.0.50. That's our generic PC. Enter. <coughs> nice. Then to ping the laptop, we ping. Dot one nine nine two dot one six eight dot zero dot fifty four enter. So that's just this, the final test, nothing more. So close, and that's exactly what you should do for those that were lost on what to do. Practically, this is it. If you have any question, you can actually send me. Thanks for watching my YouTube video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. My name is Fida here. Have a nice day. Bye. <laughs>